guys and welcome. I am Christine. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is going to be one project, but it is extremely beautiful, I think. So I found this uh, teapot that had much love to it. It's got a lot of dents on it, so you wouldn't really want to use it as is. And plus the little hinge was broken. So I'm going to take a um, heavy duty safety pin and I'm going to struggle and take that one part off and push it in there and that's going to serve as my pin for my hinge. I am going to paint it with my folk art sage green. That is a beautiful color. And then I'm going to use this little lamb um, transfer to put on it. And I'm going to make sure to put it on that little most dented side to kind of cover that. So I only had to use one coat of the chalk paint. So do um, do a real good coat because you got that handle there so you want to make sure to get in all those little crevices underneath and all and let that dry real well do your top as well then i'm going to put that pin in there after i struggle like i said to cut it with my little floral uh, snips and then i'm going to use those floral snips to actually push it through um, you'll see that now on a transfer on a surface such as this it's a little bit of a pain. Actually, it's pretty much of a pain because you don't have a flat surface. Flat surfaces are easy with your transfers, but the surfaces that um, are not flat, and especially this had, it, I mean, it wasn't just round. It, it had an odd shape to it. And uh, after I figured out where I wanted to put it, I put it down a little bit lower. So I had some ridges in the bottom. You can compensate for some of that by taking your scissors and cutting it so um, it will lay a little bit better and then use whatever tool came with your stencil my little um, tool that came with my I mean transfers I'm sorry you guys um, the one that came with my transfer it, uh, it's very loved and um, so I just took a craft stick so that's another option you can always use a craft stick now it's um lately i've been buying um prima uh, redesigned by prima um transfers and they're so much better uh this is one i just got off of amazon and i can link it below so you guys uh, i mean they're beautiful transfers they're just um uh, it takes a little work to get them away from their um little transfer um, sticky sheet so but once you lay those down just take your time with it I had to lay it down a couple times to get it all transferred but I eventually got it a little bit at the bottom where it was really tight and it wouldn't lay right some of those flowers did not transfer but it looks great in the end so I was fine with that and then I'll take a sticky sheet and rub it um, across on the slick side. And that's called burnishing. And that just makes your um, transfer look like it's more a piece of your project. And then after um, you get that on there, I used um, Big Top by DIY as my top coat. And then let that dry and I just put a lace ribbon on my little handle there and this is a gorgeous teapot and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me some love please I appreciate it so much you guys are awesome if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing it helps me out and it's totally free to you guys and I'm always a little bit of entertainment because I'll show you guys sometimes that my projects don't always turn out. I'm not going to pretend to be one of those who have has everything worked out. I'm not. Sometimes I think stuff in my head and yeah, it doesn't work like that. But anyhow, I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys. And this is the Christmas season. So I hope you guys are having a blessed one. Leave your coat. It isn't cold out. I'll be with you just in case Don't be nervous cause I'm here now Fight the urge to stay the same I got my hand out Won't you reach for Darling, what happened?
dry Let the clouds disappear Carry the sorrow that we hold so dear Let our yearning take its time Find its place We'll be fine Find its place We'll